Hey guys, welcome to part two of my chat with Scissors Paper Paul. As mentioned last week, I didn't want to cut anything out, so I've broken up this episode into two parts. This episode, um, we talk more a little bit about the, I guess, the mathematical side, he calls it, and the, you know, the, almost the marriage between part art, part science, because I feel like this every day. Me as a marketer, um, I look at data and I look at what's performing well and what message resonates, et cetera. But me as a crafter, I look at what font works well. Will that cut well? What color is that? What pattern? You know, so it's almost always part art, part science. Um, and I really resonated with Paul when he was talking about this because he's quite um, mathematical or methodical when it comes to crafting. So we talk about that as well as a whole bunch of other things. So I really hope um, you find this educational, but also entertaining. Um, if I'm on the right track and you like this type of content, please do let me know. Um, all my socials are in the show notes, um, as well as Paul's socials are there too. Also, I forgot to mention, um, I want to make this, this content as available to everybody as much as possible. So I've made a transcript available on my blog, um, which you can find the link in the show notes. So thanks so much for listening. I hope you enjoy this and see you at the next episode. Thanks, bye. Um, the amount of things that I've learned from this group, like, um, you know, for example, preheating the, the garment when you're doing a T-shirt. Always forget you know? that, yeah. Yeah. And Another like, thing I've yet um, to do. <laughs> yeah. But like using um, baking paper on top of it. Like every time that I do crazy. a PU leather mm. um, program, a project, I always put mm. P, um, baking paper on top, right? Yeah. Or some sort of material. Yeah. But but that's not standard. So, so when I no. do a video, when I do a video and people are like, how do you do it? My PU is melting, blah, yeah. blah, blah. I always say use baking paper. So so for me, something that I learned in the group, right? It's mm. not standard for somebody else. So when no. you go and ask your question, right? Like other people don't know too. And every there are a lot of people that's watching and learning, right? So share mm. it. Yes. And if you learn yeah, something, they, share it. Yeah. That's how I learn. That's how I learn from the thing what like, oh, that's yeah. a great question. Or oh, I've never done that before. And that's it would go into my mind and sort of stay there, thankfully. But yeah, there's those those are the moments, and that's where I guess. You know, we, 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 so we used to go live every Thursday uh, in the group, um, which we're going to start redoing. Um, and it's all, we're all about education, right? So that's what makes us different, Quick for Australians versus the other groups. Um, but when I do stuff on my socials, I'm like, if you remember anything today, remember this, baking paper. That's all you need. Write it down. <laughs> that's all you need to remember. So yeah. I really call out these things, you know, like if you're doing, you know, Yes, we're going to do some labels on the on a shampoo and a conditioner bottle, but it's not about that. It's what I'm going to teach you today is how to get that consistency in the appearance when you've got different sized objects, but you want them in the pantry to all look uniform. To look the same. Because yeah. you don't want one label being you know this big and the next one's this big, and they're all you know all that, all that long and that short, and you know you you want that uniformity. So that's what I try to teach when I'm sharing sort of information is how to get those those types of results because. Anyone's watched a video on cutting vinyl, right? It's, but it's how do I um, get it right? How do I, you know, um, do the, you know, how do I not forget to mirror? And so I go, well, this is what I do. I, I flip it and then I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I remember one of your um, your early videos. I can't, oh, it was the mug, the coffee mug. And there was a website that you did with the comb thing, mm. changing yes. the logo so that it kind of My like looks second popular straight video, on. yep. Is yeah. it really? Okay. Well, um, I can't remember how I came across it. Um, it was funny that um, I had seen that video and then that something stuck with me in that video. And the, the thing that stuck with me was this using this cone thing, website, mm. whatever. And somebody asked me, hey, Debbie, can you do pet bowls? Like de mm. uh, dog pet bowls. Same thing, curved surface, right? Yes. And because it was a logo, um, it had to look straight. Like it had mm. to look straight on, right? So... There I was, I think I went into the black hole for like three days <laughs> because I was like, okay, try the kind thing, cut it, didn't work. Try it again, change one degree, <laughs> do yeah. it again. But <laughs> my point was, is that group, um, I learned something, right? And yeah. to your point, it's not about the actual tangible. It's not about, okay, I'm going to leave knowing how to cut vinyl and all that. It's the the intangible stuff. So the, like that cone website yes. and the fact that you have to like tilt your text, you know, mm. like... Yeah, well, and so many I people like, that. yeah, as I say, my second most popular video, and there's so many people obviously out there doing it. And for, for the listeners, what we're talking about is when you've got like, let's say, a coffee cup that isn't where the sides aren't just you know perpendicular or straight up and down to the to the surface. They you know starts off wider at the top and narrows at the bottom. And what 
if you cut that dead straight horizontal like you would in normal design, it, it basically bows when you apply it to that that um yeah. that coned surface. So it was a way to be able to basically bend your text or you know curve your text so that when you put it on and looked at that mug straight on, it actually appeared to be straight. Um and, yeah, and that's so really, a perfect, really cool. Perfect example of part art, part science, right? Like yeah. You know, and that was like me period, wanting yeah. to put that on That's, a cup. Like I literally wanted to make that. It was a hot. It was a uh, one of the hot chocolate ones. I can't remember what it said on it, but it, the 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 design actually in the end had like uh, cocoa in it, and a little sachet, and and some marshmallows, and and I bundled up. It was a gift. So it was me, and I had it, and I went to put the vinyl on, and I've gone. Hang on a minute, this isn't going to work. So I'd go research how to find out how to do it. And that's why I thought, wow, I'm going to share this with other people. Yeah, because right. Everybody needs to know how to do it. <laughs> Everyone needs to know. <laughs> well, it worked on me. So it really helped awesome. me. So, yeah. Yay. Yay. I'm glad. <laughs> no, I wanted to ask about, um, are there any particular things in the group that um, certain types of projects or so, like, you know, we, we had already talked about this curved thing, but is mm. there any kind of regular themes that you find um, and how does, so, so for someone like a moderator, how, like, do you guys take that information and use that to figure out, I don't know, what's next in the craft design or how do you do yeah. the educational aspect, you know, and how do you know what's popular? Mm. Like, and how do you know? Yeah. yeah so many questions. <laughs> yeah. Look, we, I look, I think, well, I mean, what's popular really is the same stuff repeated over and over again. That's the reality. Um, you know, there are so many tutorial videos that Nat and I have done over the years and Jules when she was there um, that are in the group. They're in there under the guides. Um, they're all segmented by, you know, whether it's sewing, whatever, uh, iron, iron on, whatever, all the different projects. I mean, I just stopped, I guess, gave up telling people, you know, because everyone's looking for tutorials and stuff. No one mentions our to my YouTube channel. No one, you know, everyone's recommending all the influencers from overseas. Um, I so, do. Oh, I just you mentioned you know. your cone thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but it's funny because like, we're going, oh, follow this Jennifer Maker, follow this. And it's like, hello, this is Paper Paul. Um, so anyway, yeah. So, but we do see the same sort of stuff. So a lot of it's just repetition and, and unfortunately uh, because people just don't really like to go searching for things they kind of just want to ask a question and they just want to be told and because that is the internet right the internet we normally go to the internet yeah. and we type a question and we get an answer so i get it and there's nothing wrong with that um so i wouldn't say we see tr sometimes we see trends but we really kind of mostly see the same stuff or we see it happen over and over re repeat so every year just so anyone that's a member of Crick for Australians, if you need to write it down, write this down. <laughs> Every year leading up to Christmas, everyone knows what I'm about to say, probably around July, baubles. Right? Oh, I was going to say baubles. <laughs> we go, oh, my God, here we go. Here we go. It's bubble um, time. <laughs> <laughs> we do try to get ahead of some things, We, you know, with Australia Day and, um, um, <clears throat> excuse me, with Australia Day and um, Invasion Day or, or whatever you want to call it. Sensitive time every year. We, we try to get ahead of that this year. But it doesn't matter what we do. It's always a pain point. Um, but we I think we, we did a lot better this year than in previous years. So I think we just try to anticipate a few things so that people don't get annoyed or um, because baubles, they just take over, right? So we just try to contain those, those sure. types of I things. Searched, yeah, yeah. I searched I mean, in the group Christmas the thing something. Mm -hmm. And I think she said she had like three bauble mm -hmm. tutorials. Oh, she's got, oh, yeah, yeah, she's got m probably more, I'd say. Um, mm -hmm. so many. And like, I always go, you can do another one this year. Yep, yep, I'll do it. Um, and we did it actually at our first boot camp, she did it as well. Um, so there's because they because what's old is new because people start and then they find these things and they're like, oh my god, I've you know, have you seen this? And it's you don't want to go, oh, you know, roll your eyes and go, oh my god, yes, like three years ago. Of course you want to be excited you want to be you want to build you know support their passion and, and things like that we don't get to comment yeah. as much as we love i try to like as much as i can because i cannot keep up with my notifications at all now it's like completely out of control i, yeah. I just there's just so many i just i i try to follow the the main ones but it's, it's i do miss some now and again um so yeah so but yeah like definitely like what we try to do with the craftathon for example is previous years we've been fortunate where there's been a new product coming out so we've been able to showcase something that hasn't been seen before um like our first boot camp we actually got to show the auto press um we had the first 
we had one of two that actually were in Australia that were for Australian um, standards. So we got to show that, which and hands on, and wow. we I literally got it like two days before. Uh, so Nat hadn't even seen it. Like she was, she was, she was uh, wasn't wow. with me that that one. Um, I'd be scared. Then, I'd be like, if there's only two in the country, it's like, oh, what if it well, breaks? Be, <laughs> I don't know if you if you attended it, but it was so funny because I didn't use it. I didn't I didn't actually practice with it. I thought, oh well, you know, people are going to see me use it. I plugged it in and everything. Anyway, yeah. it does make a bit of a noise when it opens, like. <laughs> Right, so I'm there and I'm talking about the benefits and I've got my project on. I'm jibber jabbering like I love to do, and then boink, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> it gave me such a fright. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. That's great. Um, so yeah, so that was cool. We got some. Um, we got to showcase uh, to show the foiling um, before that um, came to Australia. We got to oh yeah, lots of fun things, and we've beamed people in. Like we've had. A lot of the people that you would have seen potentially in the over the time for cricket doing their education, we've had on our um, in some of our events. So, yeah, like if there's something we try to look, look at something new if we're allowed to talk about it. Um, so that so that's really cool. Um, yeah. So yeah. Otherwise, again, depends on the event. We just go, uh, uh, you know, like the craft line again. It's more social. So we just sort of think, you know, what time of year we're going to do it. What to, and, we, and, you know, for the craft on there's generally an iron on, there's a, and then we think, oh, what would be fun? You know, well, what would be a little bit different? So I'm not going to say there is a craft on happening later this year or what projects there might be, but, you know, it'll be a little bit different, but same, same. Um, and actually, Deb, we're going to speak to you about that as well, if Nat hasn't already. <laughs> I was going to um, say, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. oh, oh sorry. I mean, me. not <laughs> Don't eat that. Okay. Um, I'm waiting so with yes. like, because ah. we don't want like, it to be for the for those that attend every year. We don't want it to be like, oh, bleh, boring, you know. Because I remember one year we actually made uh, in the Brisbane one uh, the, at the um, golf course. We we made uh, the leather handbags, um, leather like the little hand? satchels, uh, oh. the little satchels, and I've gone to the girls. I've got. We can't ask them for like four hundred things of leather, real leather, and they're like, why not? And we, well, we did. And I mean, yeah. yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. So that process, if you want to know, do you want to know how that process works? Yeah, I don't have notes about yeah. it. So just so everyone who's listening understands, what we do is we, Cricket for Australians, will get together, Nat and I, and we go, well, what do we want to do this year? You know, what are we going to do for the craft farm? Will we do it online? Do we want a theme? What time of year? Um, what kind of projects? So we get all of that together first. And then we go to cricket and we say, okay, this is what we want to do. We might have some project links just as sort of ideas, um, but we want leather. We need a bright um, a vinyl. We need um, metallic iron-on. We need glitter. We need infusible ink. This is this is what we need. Can be, and we'll say, oh, it could be joy size. It's like a um, wish list. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, not, yeah. So we and, and we go and then they go away and see if one, they can get it here in time. Um, and to you know there might be something else that they go oh could you what about this could you incorporate that and like oh you yeah, know we'll just we'll use that instead of this um even and they've been and actually some of them were really good so for the last craftathon i think it was like we used insert cards but in different ways like we actually use the inserts to do layering uh, as part of a insert card um you know we it was it was really cool like we got we you know again sort of going a bit beyond the standard um, but also things like people go, oh, well, even me, I'm like, oh, I didn't even thought of using them as to layer because they they already match. They they're a colorway. They're in packages that are already color matched. So um, yes, yeah, so that was really cool. And sticker, um, the not sticker cardstock, but the um, uh, sticker paper, like using that to layer as well. Like re- that was mm. really cool. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the process. And could come back and actually never said no. They've always going, yep, yep, yep. And we're like, oh, my God, I can't believe we're getting all this stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. And then prizes, we go, can we get this? Can we get that? And can we get this and that? And they're like, yep, yep, yep. Or what about this? Yep, cool, cool. Um, and then that's how it's born. And then we, yeah, we, we decide. Then we flesh it out in terms of the timings and dates and details and who's going to do what and so on. Yeah. Wow. I feel like I'm getting an inside scoop into how it is. this. Well, I think a lot of people think cricket come to us and say, oh, this is what we want to do this year. Here's the rundown. Here's the mm. projects. Um, but no, not at all. It's a complete reverse. Um, they are very good in terms of going, are you doing one this year? Uh, <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um, 
they're very involved. I mean, you know, again, like every year we've had, well, yeah, every year we've had a shish, not in person, unfortunately, because again, because of COVID, but, um, you know, we certainly had him at a lot of events. We we had him live, as I said, in that Bris- one of the Brisbane events, but he has either beamed in or sent a video message uh, specific to um, the guys here in Australia, which has been, you know, just so amazing. Um, and to think that even though I've spoken to him, we I actually launched the Cricket Joy globally uh, on TVSN because of they launched it globally on the same day because we're ahead of everyone else. Um, I was on TVSN. I mean, we had, I think we had three shows planned. Another lesson, always wear shoes on set because I was on, <laughs> they had me a little pop-up thing to sort of promote the, the show and then the host she goes oh what's back here and it's and like, oh my god and we stepped back but i don't they only had a little pop-up thing and i knew oh my god i haven't got, I've got any shoes on i've got these bright brightly colored socks on so i stepped back no shoes on but anyway um so yeah that sold out I love it we sold it out we had wow. to cancel the other shows um ashish rang me personally asking how it went and uh yeah so that was really really cool really really nice that is really cool. And I wanted yeah. to ask, um, I wanted to go back to the group and you were talking mm. before about, you know, how do you know what's popular and all that stuff and it's pretty much mm. just, you know, requests and that type of thing. But how do you, like, how do you, okay, how do I explain this? In the group, there's all, a whole lot of people and they're all at different varying abilities, right? Someone yeah. might have just literally turned on the machine and that's all they've done. But mm. someone's an yep. expert and someone else is like, <clears throat> come up with a different way of doing it. Like you're talking about the layering mm-hmm. sticker, mm-hmm. you know, all that. That's yeah. gonna, that's gonna be hard to manage. Like how do well, you, yeah. Yeah. So, well, so I mean, if you've ever um, had access to like, if you're a mod or an admin uh, for groups, there is, there is some information you can get, but as I say, like so you can see not trends per se, but like popular posts. But the thing is they're generally like the mo- most popular posts could be, I don't know, someone falling down the stair the stairs but they didn't drop their Christmas bauble. Or like I I've never seen them as really sort of trend identifying, um, unfortunately. Or they'll be just ones that people really gossip about or talk about or have fun or a bit of a laugh over, not really the technique or the skill or a medium or, or anything like that. Yeah. So it's it's kind of a balance, but the software that I use when I go live, I use, I'm a Mac person at home, so I use a program called Ecam Live, and I can actually pull up comments and stuff while we're live. Uh, I can bring in so when we, when we do any of our events, I can bring in Nat, I can bring in you as, as an interviewee. You can see all the comments coming up as well. Um, there's a green screen, a green room per se, where I can sort of I could jump in and actually chat to you separately that no one can see. It's quite sophisticated, but bringing their comments in and I think engaging your audience, that's where someone will go um, like the KK method you might hear me talk about. So one of the tips that I I love, it's like that, that epiphany thing, when I'm trying to do fussy cutting or I'm trying to maybe size something, but I can't see behind it, if it's a cut, I'll change it to draw and then all of a sudden I can see behind it. But um, Karen... K was that yeah it's KK um told me that right while I was on a live so you know I could yeah, bring it up the wow. comment and say oh my god there's a man you know I'll say oh, if you've got a better I always say or if you've got a better way of doing it let me know in the comments mm. and then I can bring it up and I can share it and also I'll learn from that as well so that helps with the varying abilities because not only do you know the project projects we try and do are generally for everyone to a certain extent. So it'll be like print and cut stickers, but maybe I'm foiling them. Well, you don't have to do foil. If you just want to do print and cut stickers, this will, I'm going to show you all the skills that you need to do that. But if you want to take it to another level, then, hey, you can actually add foil to these as well. And they're stunning. Um, so we try to, you know, kind of give that mm, sort of reach as well. Like options. Mm. Yeah. And in the live environment, people will comment as well, help each other. So if you do have a beginner, someone will say, oh, we're going to get that. Like you don't have to answer all those questions. You know, if you've got, I mean, we, you know, when we're doing our craft up on, online, I think we had, we, had, we had over 800 people with chatting. There's no way we're going to get to all of those answers. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, questions. <laughs> so we have people in there that are either you guys helping each other out, which that's the biggest resource. Um, 
you know, where to buy something. They're sharing links. They're doing this. They're doing, you know, amazing, amazing. And that's a community part, right? That's what I, so when I first started, and I'm not going to lie, I'm still a bit obsessed with Instagram, right? And I've got one of those ticket it over things. I've got to put some shelves up and start my YouTube channel and try and encourage people to follow me on socials. I'm obsessed with YouTube, um, with um, Instagram, but Instagram for me goes up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. And it's like 10 steps forward, eight steps back, right? Oh my God. It's so the Facebook, algorithm. The algorithm's always Facebook, changing. Facebook is fantastic, but they're different audiences. So Instagram, I definitely use for in inspiration. So it's it's pretty, it's what it looks like. It's me, you know, getting the lighting right or, or whatever. Um, and I post hopefully a lovely picture and put that on Insta. Um, but on Facebook, it's like, oh, here's, oh my God, fabulous deal that Deb just told me about this deal. It's amazing. Or those, you know, I saw your newsletter and it's a gorgeous little beer backpacks oh the teddy color <laughs> which i should have bought one but because you know the little bunny one that i bought i'm not giving that away i'm actually keeping it myself because i thought it'd be fun to go to a party or a dance party or oh my whatever, God. festival <laughs> I, yeah i remember festival you saying with. you were gonna do it for one of i am yeah i put it on i'm like <laughs> i was joking half joking and my friend goes keep it and i went yeah bugger it i need a bag anyway <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah so when i Love see it. stuff like that i'm just like oh my god i'm obsessed with this you've got to you've got to um do it and i'll always share stuff that um look I've, i'm an amazon affiliate if i post an affiliate link i'll always let you know but the stuff that i share nine times out of ten is not on amazon not um it's suppliers like yourselves and who i buy from because i like your product like we don't have a financial arrangement there's no nothing like that although you know by all means if you want to start something let me know uh <laughs> We'll uh, take that one offline. Know, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I that, so I think, and I don't know whether it's that passion piece that also maybe comes across when I do post that. But anyway, Facebook it's like growing for me really, really fast, and um, people engage with it. You know, I get so many. I, sometimes I'll just look at that post and I'll think, oh, nobody really liked that, and then I'll look at it and go, <clears> oh, <throat> hundred reactions, which I because yeah. I can't keep up with my my. Um, notifications I thought oh wow why wow, everyone loved that but they also love that personal side so anyone again that's wanting to get out there and maybe do that social side more you know lean towards me as a business versus um, you know product per se um, you know personal oh my god like if I share something personal you know again if I fell down the stairs um, and you know stubbed my toe that's what people want to know on Facebook they want to get to know you as a person and I, and I love that. Like when I put, when I, I posted something the other day, because I think in one month I got a thousand reactions, which it was a, for me, a, a record. And I posted and I said, you know, you guys are the best as well. I mean, I, I try to not repeat the same things, but honestly, I mean it, you know, it's, mm. it, it, it absolutely warms it's... my heart when I just see people react to stuff. And because it, I feel the personal connection, I don't feel that on Instagram at all, but on Facebook I do. So very different audiences. You got to share stuff differently and, um yeah and and they work differently yeah. yeah the marketer the marketer in me so the algorithms are different obviously it's like when you mm. think of facebook there you go there because your friends and you want to see what's happening with friends and family the latest video mm -hmm. that they're sharing whatever it is you know yeah. life you want to see life but on insta yeah. insta the the personality of insta if i'm calling it you know you go to insta to, for that inspo inspiration if I, you're trying, right? me too which is, yeah well that's what i do really, yeah that's yeah, yeah, it's really interesting because, like, I sync my content. So, and because I'm a small yeah. business owner and I don't have I do the time, too. I do too. <laughs> you know, I so do too. whatever yeah. video I post on one channel will go to the others. But you yeah. will know what's going to do well. Like, I had a a real go viral. I don't know if that's the term, but um, I think it was like seventeen thousand views, like uh, wow. view, real views, right? Yeah. Wow, that's like, amazing! Literally. Literally, is it, I just decided on a whim to make my Sunday coffee and, you know, edit it together yeah. in a minute and it went up, right? So you just don't know uh, what's, what's going to resonate and, and what's not. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and I guess going back to the thing about trends and stuff, I mean, like, I, I made this um, baby announcement um, that basically just blew up, right? So it's my most popular video on YouTube. Uh, um, people, yeah, in fact, like Cricket shared someone else's, but you know, who had made it the other day, which is fine, sort of. I could have shared mine in the first place, but anyway. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's great. But like, it's it's also frustrating because one, like, can you tell people where you're being spoke from? Because I do try, if I'm actually yeah. using someone's design or idea, 
I'll say, oh, this you was from Dev, mm. or this is from mm. blah, or, or, or I, you know, where I get stuff from, supplies, like, oh, the bag's from here, the bag's from there. Um, what I think of it, you know, like those duffel bags, if anyone's listening, please buy those duffel bags. I mean, honestly, I think I could actually sleep inside it. It's huge. It's just <laughs> Did you so know beautiful. the Maker? Quality the Maker 3? Maker 3 mm. fits in it. Just it well, it's such, <laughs> and so the quality is amazing. I'm just looking at it now because I'm, I'm going up to Brisbane soon. I've got to do all the stuff for my, my, my niece. Um, but, yeah, like, um, uh, you know, share. Like, please, like, share my, you know, if you like something I do, please share, like, share it so other people can know as well and, and those sort of things can grow. But I do. I try. I cross-pollinate, but then there's times when I'll go, well, that's not Instagram-worthy yeah. or um, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't put on Instagram about spotlight sale i'll just do that on my yeah. facebook you know because also you and again if you're listening and you're this you're sort of you're looking at that sort of um i call myself a micro influencer at best uh they are different platforms people want different things but also you want people going to those platforms to be different things um yeah, to see different things you don't yeah. want them going you know and saying oh well i won't go to instagram because i won't follow paul on instagram because i can see everything on facebook well, no, you might not see everything because it's mm. different stuff, you know. So anyway, um, but yeah, that's what I go there. and it could be. I go there for motivation it could, on Instagram. It could be color, it could be all sorts of things. Like it's not always just, um, oh, I've got to make that or I've got to make this. And actually, if I give anyone any, any advice as well, write this down. If you're new, we've all gone through it. I call it procrastination. Oh my god, and I still do it. We've got a list as long as your arm and you spend hours every night um, screenshotting and Pinterest and blah, 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 blah. When you could be crafting with that time. So put your list down. I I, I need I, a font version of that, <laughs> you know, because yeah, I'm exactly, always looking exactly. at the font. Like... Stop downloading files. Stop downloading fonts. Make something. Use one of them because, oh, my God, I've got so many files. that I actually started cleaning out the other day that I, I will never use. Download every freebie you can imagine, everything, and never used it. Um, make something and print out your list or do whatever your list with your list. Don't You don't have to start at the top. I'm not saying go in that, you know, chronological order, but something on that list, make it, right? And you will feel so good. If I have a dry spell of not making, oh, my God, I cannot tell you the endorphins that just, and like, ugh, my blood literally starts pumping when I make something, because for me, I, again, because I'm making for someone, you know, the amount I, I put on your duffel bag, that pink bag I put, which is pretty much looks white, the UV color change cricket iron on, the amount of times I, it's here, I just did it before, I, I'll, I've turned it towards the sun or I'll run outside into the balcony with it and see it change color. I love it. I love it. It's just, I get so much pride. I'll walk around the house and I'll see things I've made and I, I will literally stop sometimes and just look at it. And it's not of me just being a complete, you know what, I'll just look at it and I go, I made that. And I, and I really love it. And I'm, and I feel really proud that I could, that I could do it, that I can make these incredible things, you know, that I just never thought I would be able to produce. Like the, you know, the quality, the creativity now is just, you know, it, it, it's beyond my belief that I could ever achieve these sort of things so yeah enjoy that the, as well you know yeah i think that's the the wonderfulness is that a word the wonderfulness yeah. of craft <laughs> right because you don't know what you're going to make and you surprise mm. yourself with what what you know the the amount of things that i get tagged in with people and blanks is such a because you don't know like you 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 every time you bring something in you don't know if it's going to pop be popular you don't know no. then it gets shipped out and somebody else has like a, a massive light bulb and I'm like you can do this and this and this and my mind is just like i can't even like i would yeah. not have even thought of that you know well this design like you know that you know cricket shared someone else to make of it which again is fine <laughs> not better at all um yeah. you know like that thing made so many times um but also i thought oh well, that went really well i i, I and I'm mm. sorry, I'm defending them. And I've actually got them. And I've got two that I actually made recently for some other friends. I made these boy, girl, well, whatever, doesn't have to be boy, girl, whatever, um, you know, a spaceship theme and also a mermaid theme, uh, very similar. And I did it on YouTube, how to make them. And they're very much layered. And they, you know, they're so cute. Nah, nobody cares. People do care. Not... They're just, well, they're you just, know, as in like, you think, oh, oh my God, everyone loved that. I've got to do more of it. So I tried it. Mm. So it doesn't always work, you know. No, just, no. uh, you, you know, you, you've just got to keep at it. 
just really? keep at it. Just keep making. That's the whole premise of this. Just keep this podcast. Going, yep. Just keep making. <laughs> yeah. Just keep making yeah, and and it. yeah, like try something new, try something different. You know, don't be put off by people that you know say it's a saturated market or things like that. I mean, yeah. if you want to make really, if you if all you want to do is make decals, for example, like one color decals stickers for people's cars. You know, we'll just do that or whatever just like you don't have to make everything you don't have to do everything the same um you know and also you have value all right don't undervalue yourself your time um don't just look at oh that cost me 50 cents in materials i'll charge a dollar no do not do that you're worth more than that and if you don't sell one well i i think your time if you're going to sell one every 10 times you know for 10 times more that's better than selling 10 for 10 times less you know yes um so don't undervalue your, your your effort your time and learn how to do something get it right and again fail and let's do it again and uh, mm. learn from those mistakes and yeah go for gold i say mm. and this um this is my last question but i wanted to touch on the what you said about it being an oversaturated market and all of mm. that because that's i think um, everybody that's, I mean, on my side, when they message me and they're like, Debbie, I want to start a business, but everyone's doing it and blah, blah, blah. What, what is your opinion on this? Well, what I love, what, what I always knew actually, and it, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, right? Cause I'm thinking, oh, why am I on this podcast? Cause I don't have a business, but do you know when but we were you, talking you, and you were saying, mm. yeah, you, you said it, you said, oh, because you went a different way. You went sort of, yeah. you, you are the good goods. Um, and I went. Oh, I am a business. Like I, yeah. Totally I mean, I have an ABN. Everyone, I'm doing it with incorrectly. You pay tax, but um, yeah. I just but me a business you. was always going to be. I was selling something like a hard commodity, right? Um, your so, path has been different to everybody else's, but you've still kind exactly. of exactly made a living. Out come, of, yeah. I always thought small business for me. I thought I because I think what's my passion? What's my passion? If I was going to have a business, what would it be? Because I, I wanted it to be born from a passion, and that's what that happened here is that I never thought I was going to be on TV. TV, are you kidding me? Or flown around the country to attend an event or that I would be, you know, running events online for over a thousand people. Like never did I think these things would happen. But it, And it slowly just turned into this thing, right? Which to be honest, if it gets much bigger, <clears throat> I'll be registering for GST soon and all that sort of thing as well. Um, but that's amazing and it's and I love it. And years ago, Cricket were advertising actually for an account manager. And that's what I do. I'm an account manager during the day when I'm not um, a superhero. <laughs> um, and I thought, oh, my God, I tick, tick, tick. Or that's what I do, dude. I mean, hello. And I love Cricket, no Cricket. Yeah. But mm. then I thought, well, then it's not going to be a job. It's not going to be a passion. It's going to be a job. It's not and it's not like passion, I get yeah. to sit, sit there and make stuff, I assume. Make stuff, yeah. uh, <laughs> Cricket, if you're listening, you know, do get to sit there and make <laughs> stuff all day, give me a call. They should create um, a, a new role for you. Part account manager, part creative. Think, uh, yes. Make stuff. <laughs> um, oh, and the Better Homes and Gardens and covers of magazines and stuff. Better Homes and Gardens, I mean, are you kidding me? We did, we've done the cover, the tree, Christmas tree, Christmas cover. But anyway, um, so what I say is like, if you're passionate about it, I say then go for it. Because if you're passionate about it, don't get obsessed about... Um, how cheap things other people are doing things for just make something that you love and that you're proud of and that has value and you'll see the value in it um people have asked me all the time do you sell and i say no and they go why not and i say because you wouldn't pay my hourly rate as simple as that no one's going to pay me you know 100 bucks for a shadow box with some cardboard in it no mm -hmm. But that's what I'm going to charge you. If you want it from me, that's what it's going to cost because, uh, you know, it is awesome and it's beautiful and it's been made with such care and precision and, you know, especially I was going to sell it, you know, there'll be no missing dots and, and things like that. Yeah. Um, but that's why I don't sell because I just don't want to be mass producing things that I, you know, because yeah. that's what I love, you know, and that's when it comes to, like, I don't want to be mass producing um, decals. Because I'm not going to be passionate about it. But if you're passionate about it, you know, doing exactly. these beautiful keychains and bookmarks. And because I have some of those blanks, I'm just going to, but I need someone to give it to. Someone's going to come to me and go, oh, I need a little gift. You know, my aunt will come to me and say, oh, I need a little gift for someone. 
And I was like, oh, what about, do they read? I've got these beautiful acrylic bookmarks. Maybe we could put a little design down. You know, yes, it's a basic decal, but it's, who's it for? What's the, mm. you know, what's the, you know, I, I, I like that sort of creative process. So what I say is don't just try and be like, if, don't go to someone else's page and go, oh, they, okay, so they're doing this and they're doing that. And okay, well, I'll buy all of that and that's what I'm going to do. Buy stuff that you would like. Buy stuff that you would like to receive. What is it about it that you love it? Is it is it a monogram? Is it a, you know it's not just a sticker on the on my little keychain. It's a monogram. Maybe that's your thing. Um, you know what's your audience? Who you're actually selling to? Does that help? Totally. I think I, th okay. I feel like it. You figure out what fills your cup. Yeah. If you're passionate about it, and your your passion will come through. Okay. Do you know I've, I'm. Okay, I'm going to share without sharing too much because, to be honest, first time ever. Actually, I'm going to share. I, I, yeah, I won't give anything away okay. because this person, right, has sold hundreds, 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 hundreds of this item, which can be very easily customized without any cutting other than just taking something and putting on something else. Hundreds. And it, it actually made me think, oh, my God, maybe I'll start selling because, like, it would be like, let's say you get, like, be like getting a mug and sticking a vinyl wrap or a piece of vinyl all the way around it and selling it, right? I, I just don't want to bust them because they've obviously got a successful business out of it. But that's all she does. She sells these one product, basic, this, you know, sticking the wrap around it or whatever, sells them, sells, sold hundreds and for a really, really good price really really good price mm. so that's what she loves doing people love buying it mm. and she's you mastered know, doesn't that have, like doesn't she's have to be complex that, mm. yeah know? maybe yours has got a cut out of it initial out of yours and maybe that's mm. what makes yours different but it doesn't have to you don't have to sell it cheap right you you know if you if you love it you know and coasters are a, a good one for me because i'm obsessed you know i made these black and white ones years ago for a tv for a um TVSN show and I thought I'll oh, I'll never use them right well now with my new apartment and now I've got my Tom Ford coffee table book with this gold vase on top blah 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 and I'm like oh my god they actually look amazing on there um so um so yeah they look amazing so I'm like oh my god where are they and I've only got two so I have to go make another two but they are literally just getting the infusible link as it is patterned because they did some new ones oh, okay. um just on the coast trip from the coast, um, and they're thing. beautiful, I think. So, someone's got if I think they're beautiful, I can sell that, you know, and you can mm. too, and your listeners can as well. But mm. just don't focus on being like everyone else, just be you, totally. Mm. Yeah, and I think that's why I You're found authentic. blanks like, like, I found blanks like, I get so much more. I what fills my cup is when someone messages, messages me and says that they use one of my items for whatever it is and they you yeah. know they've sold something or they've gifted it or whatever it is right but the point is that they've created something with my item that i yeah. spend hours sourcing oh. finding yeah. quality checking all of that right that's what I my time. yeah so, and, and that's why i love you as well because i'm passionate about your products <laughs> because i don't feel i'm seeing them anywhere else and look maybe i mm. could get them somewhere else i don't know but like it's just like it's i don't know like i, I love your passion i love that you just pop up all over the place and and like oh, I just see the cutest things, and that's that's what gets you know. Uh, and I, I honestly, I bought some stuff off you recently. I wanted to buy much more, but like with the teddy bear backpack, for example, I didn't. Yeah. It was in there, and it was not in there. It was in there, and it wasn't in there. I totally wanted one, but <laughs> yeah. I'm like, who am I going to give it to? <laughs> I'm like, just give it. It's so cute. You just keep it. You alternate you know? your your oh. your bunny backpack mm. and your teddy bear backpack. Yeah, if you, maybe if, you get, if they come back again, maybe if I'll spoil myself. But it was so cute, and I just oh, so I wanted it. And it's, stuff. it's okay. I'll yeah, one. <laughs> yeah. But like you, you know, if you're passionate, you know, but you know, you need, hopefully your listeners can hear my passion. Like I, I just, I, you know, and if I could you imagine me doing a live and I'm gone, you know, and that's I, my passion. I'm going. I got it from only sweet stuff, and like it's linked at the, you know. But like, look at this thing. It's like, and I love that I can do that so genuinely. Um, and mm. again, I'm making this is for my niece, and she's going to look so cute with it or whatever. Because I I make for people that I love as well. Um, so yeah, so be authentic, and that is I think the big, particularly if you're in situations like this, right? So going live, uh, going live is very scary. Going live is weird because, like, if you go live on Instagram, if you go live on Facebook, if you go live on YouTube, when you do it the first time, 
there's probably no one watching. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Be ready for that. Or there might only be one person. Um, but you you have to be ready for that. Um, you But you know what? They might watch the replay. So don't forget that as well. And the other thing, if I can give you a tip, if you are going to do that sort of stuff as well, don't talk to the masses. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. Look at you all. You're all here. Oh, my God. There's a 100 of you. Blah, blah, blah. No, there's one of you. When I look through that lens, like it's Deb. Now you're listening to the podcast. Hi, hey, you. It's like, oh my God, thanks for being here. It's so good to see you. What are you up to? Tell me where you are. You know, are you in Australia? If you're not in Australia, let me know. If you're new, let me know. Um, I want to hear from you because I want to ask you all the questions. You know, maybe you can send me chocolate or something. What are you up to today? What are you up to for the weekend? You know, can you hear that sort of that change of um, yeah, the you're speaking conversational. To one, oh my God. Where, where am I from? Oh my God, I'm from Melbourne. Oh my God, I'm from Melbourne. Oh yeah, I'll send you chocolates. That's your dream. You know, like, you know, you're getting that one-on-one -on -one yeah, engagement. it's a conversation. I'm one person on the other end. So, you know, if you start talking to the whole universe, I'm not going to be as engaged. You're talking to me. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm new here. And then you come back in the comments and go, where from? I'm like, oh my God, this is, you know, this is so cool. And um, you start following people for a long time and if they ever respond to you oh my god like it still happens to me um you know i met carla from bankstown at a cricket event and she for christmas and i helped her mum make some stuff and she followed me and i'm like ah, it's crazy um I love this. so yeah um yeah just be I be authentic it. be be yourself and don't be anyone else be be again make the mistakes be kind be you know have an opinion it's okay to have an opinion uh, I would caution you to have, whether how strong an opinion, but you can have sides. That's fine. Yeah. Not everyone's going to like it. And I upset the apple cart the other day with the post, um, but I wasn't backing. I, I didn't. I, I apologize if I had upset them, and I, I understand where you're coming from. And I do. I do. I, everyone is entitled to their own point of view. As am I. Um, I didn't try and defend myself or hammer the point. I just moved on, um, and yeah, and that's okay as well. So just, yeah, yeah. We're just there's some hot tips for you. Amazing. Well, thank yeah. you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate it. And I felt like, um, yeah, we kind of said this before, but I feel like I know you just by watching oh. and learning from you and all of that. And I hope um, everyone has learned something from this because you're Me too. such a hive of information. So oh, thank you. <laughs> um, and it's the same. I can't like I. I can't believe we've actually never met. We've never spoken. No. Are you kidding me? I didn't even realize because yeah. I'm so used to seeing your face. Like yeah, and I love it. But you're popping up and packing and all that stuff. Although I don't think you packed mine live, and I did put that in my request. So oh, I'm sorry. Maybe next time. Oh, it's been. Crazy, <laughs> but I love you, Deb, and I love like... your staff, and I <laughs> I love what you're doing as well for the community. I think it's really um good to um support people that you know. Uh, I've been told they can't start a business. Um, and again, it's thinking outside of just the standard box as well. Like there's, there's tangents. You could go my way. You could, you know, maybe you're ironing on other things you're selling. Maybe you make things so, and you want to customize quilts or, you know, just, you just, just think about it and be, make it come from the heart and you will always be successful. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Deb. No worries.